Disturbing fresh footage of the Saturday mega earthquake. This one has been released by Chinese authorities. The location here is Geelong area in Tibet Autonomous Region, where at least 25 people have died. The footage shot on a mobile handset shows a valley surrounded by mountains. As soon as the quake hits, there is panic and huge landslides can be seen in the mountain. People are running around away from the mountain screaming. I just asked my producers to maybe amp up the volume on that video clip which actually shows the extent of panic and the devastation around. <laughs> signify nothing short of a doomsday Hollywood film. I want to cut across to Anand Krishnan, India Today correspondent Beijing. He's on the phone line with us. Um, Anand, can you take us through these visuals uh, that uh, has been released by the Chinese authorities there? Uh, we believe it's from the county Geelong. Can you give us more details on this video clip, please? So, yes, Preeti, this video was taken on a cell phone uh, in Geelong County. And what's uh, really striking about it is that uh, Tibet has been uh, hit pretty badly by the earthquake, but we, we pretty much had no information about the damage in many of the remote counties. Uh, the government said this morning that the death toll is uh, at 25 and 170 people have been killed. Uh, and most of the damage was in three counties that are close to the border with Nepal. One of them is Girong and the others are Nyalam and Kindri. Uh What the government says is that uh, by their calculations, as many as 80% of the buildings in these in many of the towns in these counties have been demolished. So uh, there's a big fear that the death toll could go up because uh, the government is still trying to open up tunnels and roads that have been hit by landslides. Anand, you know, um, earlier on when we were speaking, you were saying the total death count is still in its 20s where China is concerned. But do you reckon you know, this death figure comes only from Tibet and now because of what you were just stating, will, is it looking to rise? This morning, the mayor of uh, Sijate City, which is one of the biggest cities near Jirong County, actually said that he was very worried about one particular town in Jirong called Jam. Um, and he said the word that he had received was that uh, because of the uh, difficult access to the town, um, there's, a, there's a big fear that the death toll could very possibly go up. Uh, today, actually, the People's Liberation Army has uh, got ready seven helicopters. Uh, to sort of uh, carry on uh, reconnaissance missions in these towns as well as to get across supplies. Uh, now the second fear is that because many of these mountain highways and tunnels have been blocked, uh, that there's a shortage of food and water and that the situation could get uh, pretty bad in the next uh, 48 right. to 72 hours. So Anand, what was, was the reason why reconnaissance missions uh, were not carried out earlier? I mean, uh, I think this is one of the most remote uh, counties in Tibet. So um, it's very possible that uh, it's been difficult to get information from some of these areas. Uh, and this, I mean, the very fact that it took almost three days to get the first visuals out on a cell phone is pretty striking. Uh, what the government says is, uh, you know, because of the remoteness of the area, it's been very slow to respond. Uh, but having said that, uh, one would expect that because of China's experience over the last two huge uh, calamitous earthquakes we've seen in the last five years, with the earthquake in Sichuan and then in 2011 yes. we had the earthquake in Yushu. And these are both very similar areas and mountainous areas. So one would think that uh, they would have the capabilities to handle the situation given the experience that they have. Yes, I, I, we agree with you there, Anant. Appreciate you joining us. My colleague Anant uh, 
They are getting us up to speed with the very latest developments there. So the Chinese authorities have released this video clip. It is from Geelong in Tibet. Uh, fears are that uh, the casualties might uh, rise in Tibet in that particular area. Till now, um, interestingly, no reconnaissance missions have been carried out by the Chinese authority in these areas. The reason that the authorities have given is that, that these are remote far-flung areas. Uh, we'll keep uh, getting the very latest from uh, my colleague Anand there on this news report and the latest casualty figures emanating out of Tibet. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 